bowl and he is not outside. So that's a very, very good thing. With temperatures hitting yearly highs, one group in Indianapolis is working to make sure dogs stay safe. Today was a hot one and this week will stay that way while many of us are working to limit sun exposure and focus on staying hydrated. One group is working to make sure Indy's four legged friends stay safe as well. Our Griffin Gonzalez has more. Good man, then. What did I tell you? <laughs> Kenneth and Shelby are two of the best of friends. That's my best friend. But with temperatures skyrocketing into the 90s, Kenneth is always working to ensure Shelby never gets too hot. Yeah, I put on a change, first of all. She can't go no farther than that sidewalk right there. And when I go in, she goes in. Yeah, I keep her in the house. Sadly, others don't feel the same way. You know, there are some people that just are not going to not going to follow the ordinances. This is Darcy Kurtz with Friends of Indianapolis Dogs Outside, or FIDO. Her organization works to ensure all dog owners have the tools they need to keep their dogs safe in extreme temperatures. You know, they're just kind of languishing on scene in backyards and alleys. Kurtz works to help provide dog owners with food, toys, and crates to those who may have limited resources. And if they do need our help and are willing to accept our help, we'll give them the resources to do that. However, if those dog owners don't accept the help, then the city can take action. We may work with our friends at Animal Care Services because they do have the law enforcement authority to go to the home. But if they don't comply, they have the legal authority to impound a dog. Well, they're not out there, which is good. On today's ride along, Darcy didn't find any dogs left outside giving her hope that dog owners are stepping up. I'm um, holding out hope as we are part of a um, citywide strategic planning effort to try to, um, you know, create a more humane community for these dogs and cats. In Indianapolis, Griffin Gonzalez, WRTV. Now it's important to remember that dogs can become victims of heat stress. If the temperature is over 90 degrees, do not let your pet outside for more than 10, 20 minutes. Always make sure when your pet is outside that they have access to water and shade. Finally, if you bring your dog inside and notice abnormal behavior 30 minutes after being back in air conditioning, call your vet immediately. Now, if you live in Marion County and need help bringing an outside dog inside, you can call Fido at the number you see right there on your screen.